Hi Aries, this is Char uh, from Charlie's Angel Tarot and you are the second on the list this week as you, all of you, clicked on the thumbs and the liked the videos, 55 of you. So if there are more people watching, please keep on clicking and you might be the first next week as the highest will be the first. Okay, so thank you very much for your likes and your reactions um, and I hope you do enjoy the video and the channel I do go live um, every Monday Wednesday and Friday so I hope to see you there anyway I'm going to do the reading first and I'll keep the spiel until the end because it makes the beginning so long but welcome back and thank you for coming back and welcome if you're new so I will give you the information after the reading I'm doing my nine card reading again this is you the querent or the overall energy Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and I'm uh, doing also the corners with the cards lying around them okay okay and I've got <coughs> the a new mystical shaman oracle deck and you've got a card from that and then the postcard from spirit and then the queen of the moon oracle right so let's get started with this reading my fingers are itching yeah and um taurus was the first this week okay well here we go you have the king of wands so Aries that is you and the same happened with Tor Taurus his their card came out the king of pentacles so it's pretty amazing so you must be it must be a good week let's see what the reading is going to say you are in your element you are in your power you are feeling great you're taking action you have passion uh, as the king of wands stands for passion uh, action creativity um, and also very logical he uses his brain like nobody's business he plans things and then takes action as he wants to be precise and he wants to go for what he wants and he wants to get it a hundred percent so he'll take his time to be strategic about it and plan then he will jump into action and get what he wants you might meet an other Aries but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius okay then you have the eight of Pentacles you have recognition for your hard work you might even um, think be thinking of starting a new study or you want to get to know more information uh, about something and you will do that research like I said you will think about it and you need the information to get what you want in the best and quickest way well that is really powerful you are in your power you might even mm, meet a new person and this could be a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces as you have the knight of cups that could be news coming about something that you're passionate about or a new passion or an offer of love Ooh, ah, the love is coming out ah, it's good 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 love the energy some and you've got the hanged man but he's upside down so that's the right side up and it's number three and you are creative like I said you're in your element so it's upside down nothing is being stalled so nothing is being delayed the hanged man stands for delays and m most and usually trying to get an other perspective but it's upside down so you know that you have to look at everything from all sides and not just in front of you you have no blinkers on you are looking at all options as to get your uh, what you want you're getting new information so you can get the um, um, 
you're doing your research so you can see things from all sides and that is the most beneficial to you like I said it could be about a, a, a new passion or love you might be looking at things do I want love do I want a long-term relationship or do I want a short-term relationship that is full of passion so that might be your way of thinking this week you want to keep balance though at the weekend you are balancing things so what are you doing are you thinking being passionate and going out and still thinking about it on how to keep this balance in the relationship well let me suggest something to you Aries <laughs> know your boundaries and find out um, if it is about passion or a long-term relationship and it is passion now have a look at all sides what um, what benefits do you get out of a long-term relationship and do you know what the other person wants do you know their boundaries do you know your own boundaries so that uh, the relationship doesn't get burnt out or tiresome and sluggish and have many delays before the next step so this is telling me with the, the hanged man upside down that um, you are looking at things from different perspectives and getting the right information in order to forecome delays but I uh, will suggest that since you've got the hanged man in it is a spiritual card although it's upside down um, take time out with everything you do okay and contemplate and evaluate so that you do not get things wrong and that there won't be delays it will be steady going not quick 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 because you know the saying do something in haste and you have to repent in leisure so try to find the balance by taking it step by step and not wanting everything all at once because then you've got too many things to sort out okay and then the 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 job at hand or the issue at hand is too heavy and then you can't keep on juggling because you'll burn yourself you really will anyway uh, the first card in the corner you've got the scythe so you are harvesting but everything has got a shadow side to it or a negative side to it and a positive side you've learned from your past only if you are conscious of this okay you've learned from the past and you've cut away from the past you have life experience and you have the knowledge boom sorry about that you have the eight of pentacles and that stands for knowledge and recognition and the eight of pentacles also means that you might want to leave a legacy so um, you've learned from the past right you've gained the knowledge but you've got also got recognition that you are uh, more experienced because you've got the king otherwise you would not be uh, in this status right now then you would have been the queen or the knight or the page okay so you're taking knowledge with you that is a harvesting and you um, and your life experience but there might be more things that you um, are harvesting like if you're going through a divorce you might get money or have the house that is also harvesting you might have the children that is also harvesting or when you leave a job then you get redundant or the, the the firm has gone bankrupt and um, you get redundancy money there you go harvesting you're leaving that behind something is coming to an end and a new beginning and like I said you might start a new study here and you're thinking about it or it could be a new passion with an other Aries 
Sagittarius or a Leo. Don't exclude them. Or it could be, I think, an Earth sign as well. Because you've got two pentacles. And it could be a water sign. Definitely. <coughs> so, you're going forwards to a new beginning. Good, good, good. And here you are. This is my card where I say somebody usually it's depicted that a bird flies out of the nest but you might have felt imprisoned and you've left the coop or the group because birds always sit in groups and so this card uh, means watch out watch out for gossip you will get news though <laughs> so you've got the night here so um, you will receive news and that this news might have been delayed but it won't be delayed now because the hanged man is upside down so and if I did a one-to-one -one reading then this would be the past the present in the future okay so you have learned from the past right and you are now juggling things to fit in your way the way you want it and you are going steady um, you doing it steadily and you've contemplated about it and you're using your results the knowledge that you have gained you are using yeah um, you might have talked about it uh, in a, with somebody because the birds also stands for meetings gatherings presentations so and news and so you might have discussed it with somebody on what to do and you had to be careful for gossip you had to stand above that and that's why you might have felt imprisoned and pushed to, with your back to the wall that's the feeling I'm getting you've been creative about it 12 is 3 creation okay love it I love it okay and now you've got the star and the star it means that you've navigated your way to where you are now and your wish or goal is coming true and you've got 16 so 7 is on your side your lucky number and you then you have the rider and the rider means that you might be visiting somebody you will get news again or somebody's coming to visit you number one a new beginning like uh, this could be a couple you and a water sign so perhaps a water sign might come to visit you or a fire sign or you might be visiting a fire sign or a water sign now the cards around the star you, you might have dreamt on starting something new or recognition to be recognized on how wonderful you are and uh, that you are considerate and that you've got the knowledge um, and that you want a, a love relationship or you whatever you might have wanted a romance and it's going to start because you have recognition this could be of, of a boss but this could also be of a prospective new love magic now you've got number 26 and that is 8 and that's the um, house of power and the house of money so something is coming towards you you are in your power like I said you're in your element that is you I'll take that as you and this card is the waning moon Okay. Okay. Surrender. So surrender to. Yes, you are surrendering because your wish is coming true. So you might be surrendering your feelings to an opposite sign if that is what you wish. Or you might surrender to somebody and say, Yes, I will take the job. That might have been your wish. And you might surrender. Uh, for example that you might earn uh, you will surrender or not give in I wouldn't say that 
but that the job might not pay as well but you want to be with the with a group of people again you want to belong to something and you want something new okay surrendering doesn't mean giving up let go of what you no longer need well that is what you've done because it's in the past okay stop being so stubborn yes you can be very stubborn areas but that is one of the likable things of you about holding on to aspects and behaviors that don't align with who you are now stop struggling so don't be stubborn let your old habits go let your old memories go this will also lighten your load okay so surrender and let go of things that are of no use to you you are magic just know that you are magic and this is a postcard from spirit so dear you dear Aries pump up the music bang the drums get on up and start that hustle towards your goals and dreams there are times to be still but this is not one of them now is the time to make that first move say yes to life action pick up the phone make that decision okay make that decision and take that one step toward the gods or us expect a cascade of changes good news and opportunities to show up as if by magic well we know it's really spirit and all of us moving things around for your benefit the point is that we are saying go for it take positive action towards your dreams even if the outcome isn't exactly what you um, expected or how it would fit in your agenda it will all be orchestrated by spirit and arrive in divine appropriate time don't you just love it on how it all works and it comes together we love you so so much so go for it and then we have the sweat lodge and when you go into a sweat lodge it is uh, supposed to cleanse you and guide you on your way clean and fair and free from old heavy baggage the sweat lodge represents the womb of mother earth volcanic stones are heated in a fire outside then brought into the lodge and placed in a shallow hole in the center participants sitting in complete darkness around the red hot stones to sweat away old habits and beliefs and heal these when you return humbly to the womb of the mother you are offered second chances new beginnings second chances this is the time to journey inward into the dark and hidden places of your soul to reconnect with the ancient earth wisdom that's the hanged man like I said you have to take time out to meditate and contemplate and evaluate you can also create a sacred and intimate space in the dark by lighting a candle observe that the, what emerges and without judging it invite it to bring you its gifts you are being offered an opportunity to shed and heal from the aspects of life you have outgrown do not worry and you will be consumed by process leaving 
this is also that card leaving the old behind and healing yourself and that is exactly what I think you are doing so make a, a, a sacred space or a quiet space in your bedroom close the curtains and burn a candle and that is your sweat lodge so let go of the old so the new can come in it's going to be awesome because it is your wish so Aries take care and I hope you do like this video now if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, reading then look before um, look below in the description box or click on that white circle with the eye in the right top hand corner and then that you will be taken to the website and there you can find all kinds of information also if you're new on this channel welcome please subscribe and hit the like button and when you subscribe also hit the bell on all then you will be notified I will be putting out no notifications in community on YouTube what, what time I'm going live and I also will put out notifications on Facebook and Instagram you can find me on a lot of channels um, but those are the most channels that I'm active on so go and meditate or contemplate sit quietly 10 minutes each day and I hope to see you in the life if not next week so please sh like and share with family and friends and thanks for your loyalty and your likes and shares Take care my darlings, stay safe and be happy. Let go of the old so that the new can come in. Ciao ciao.